Welcome everybody from a nice windy day over here on Comac. And today what we're gonna do is we are gonna jump on a boat and we're gonna go over here. It uh, means Paper Island, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over there and we're gonna see a herd of deer and look around. There's supposed to be a little island over there that's uh, the one palm tree in the middle of the island. So we'll see what it looks like. We're starting out, we had to come way down a little windy road through the rubber uh, fields and everything. And we wound up over here on Liam Somme Beach. And then we're gonna jump on the boat, like I said, and we're gonna head over there. So let's see what we see today. So this is the beach. I don't know if you'll hear that wind on the microphone, but it is quite howling. And the seas are rough today. A lot of flotsam out there. But that is the island that we're gonna go to. Now the boat tour, or the boat trip, it's 400 baht total. You have to pay for the boat, and then you have to pay like 200 baht to get onto the island, and the 400 baht includes the fee. And then you can see the little beach that goes way down there. Yeah, it's quite a nice little area. We're on the northern part of Comac. And the road sucks because there's some like expensive houses over here and they've closed the main road down to people that want to come here. So if you want to come to this little pier, you have to drive out through the fields and stuff like that. The nice paved road goes to those guys as expensive houses. So anyway, right over here is like they have a little camping and they have a little restaurant and stuff like that. And here's where you uh, you pay to go on the the little boat thing. Okay, so this is uh, where you buy the tickets right here. So it's 400 baht a person, and the highlight is the deer, and then going out to the little one palm island. That will probably be anticlimactic. So it's right here at the little restaurant. Yeah, this is the little dirt road you come in to right here. And then they have some of the local farm shacks and stuff like that. And you just come in right through all these palms and rubber trees and stuff like that. It's kind of cool. So we paid for our tickets, so it was 800 baht for two people. A little expensive to go see the deer, but it's something I've never seen before. So they're gonna call the boat and it's gonna come from over there. So we'll just wait and then we'll jump on it and go see what the island is. This is the boat that'll take us over there. There's the boat, pulling out the life jackets. All right, so let's jump aboard. So he's pushing us out, gave us a couple life jackets and away we'll go. <laughs> and off to the next island. We got somebody out there snorkeling. It's gonna be rough and choppy going across here. Yeah, some big waves out here on this little boat. That speedboat doesn't have anything to worry about. He's just blasting it. But this little tiny boat does. <laughs> Right up ahead here, this is the little harbor. Yeah, much better out of the open channel. Little fishing boat. And they have a pier. Looks like they can bring some bigger boats over here. So we'll just beach right here. And jump. All right, so he said just come over here when we're ready to leave the island. And uh, He'll take us back over so we can see some deer. Yeah, this is really cool. Nice little beach over here. So Bun found a little dog. Come over here for a scratch. And then over here is these little deer. So there's a couple hundred that live here on the island. Uh, so coming from Colorado and seeing the big mule deer, these things are tiny. There's a little fawn over there little two-point. This one over here is a little three-point. They must think we got some food here for them. They seem pretty docile. Yeah, they're gonna come over begging for some food. So I have the little eye guard there. Kind of an interesting little deer. So the bun's gonna be our guinea pig. So he doesn't like that. Must smell bad. Try that one. 
This reminds me of being in Japan. The deer in Japan would come and like grab things out of your hand or out of your bag. <laughs> he likes those sea, sea pine branches. <laughs> they got a big old fat pig over here too. Oh, that's a big pig. Now don't even come over here, pig. He's going to. The little fawn's coming over. <laughs> He came over about knocked me over. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> there are little shacks over here. Yeah, Bun's got a new little friend here. <laughs> that big old pig. <laughs> what are you doing, pig? <laughs> oh, this pig, he's chasing the deer off. <laughs> he's like a bull in a china closet. What are you doing, pig? <laughs> so part of the deal you can get on these, they'll take you around the island. So we'll jump on the little motorcycle with the little rope puong. Here, everywhere you go, here comes this pig again. Okay, so let's go on one of these. They'll take us over to the little one tree island, I think, from here. <laughs> So the pig's name is Som, which is orange. Have to get him to move out of the way so we can go. So we got our lady driving. Got <laughs> a crazy pig. A little herd of deer. So she'll drive us around here for a little bit. So there's some more deer over here. This is like the little farmhouse. So they have the little buildings for the coconuts. So we're just going right out here through the middle of this island. It is so hot out here. It's kind of nice, kind of nice underneath the rubber trees on Comac. A bird flying around here catching some thermals. Yeah, this island is quite a bit bigger than I thought. Lots of coconuts. You see lots of little lizards and stuff running around. It's not the most beautiful island in the world, but it's kind of interesting to see. Yeah, this island is a lot bigger. We just still keep riding out here. We might be getting close to our destination here. <laughs> I got some tables over here. So we've made it all the way across the island. We're here on this nice little beach. Yeah, this is beautiful. And we're the only ones here. So they have this bent coconut tree here so you can climb out on it for Instagram pictures. Yeah, this is way, way cool. So we're gonna relax here a little bit. Enjoy the little beach. <clears throat> yeah, what a fun little beach. I didn't even know what the name of it is. Yeah, the interior of the island is not pretty at all, but the beach is quite nice. It looks like it's really shallow out around. Let's see if we can catch Bun falling off the tree, off the tree here.
Yeah, this is just absolutely beautiful out here. There's a little bit of trash that's washed up, but this is fantastic. The sand is just absolutely perfect. That super hot tropical sun is bearing down on me, but this is really, really nice. Just jump in the water right here. All right, so it's almost time for us to go over to the little island. We're waiting on her to come back. They're bringing another group over here to do the Instagram spot. And then we'll go over to that little island. That's the part Bun has been the most excited about. Once she found out about that little island, she wanted to go and see it. Okay, so let's get back on this and we'll go down to the... Here we are at Kai Hualat. This is the one palm island. Now the whole time I thought we were going out to that little island, but that's not where we're going. That's called Ko Chu, which is like, Ko, like name island. And it's a little too deep. I think you could swim out that way if you were a strong swimmer, but the lady said we can't go out there. So we're gonna walk down this little sandbar and look at this island. Ah, oh, this is unbelievable. And then we can just look around. So over that way, that's Comac. That's where we started out. And we're all the way at the other end of this little island. Yeah, this is so fun. Surprisingly, this is the best part of the trip so far to Comac is coming to this little island. Even seeing the deer and that little pig, Som was, the, was that little pig's name. <laughs> So right now the tide is actually going out. During high tide, you'd have to wade out here. This would be underwater. You can see it's just loaded up with shells and stuff. So this little sandbar builds up between the island and this other little rocky outcropping. So this island over here is quite a bit bigger than I thought. False advertising, there's more than one tree here. Even though here's like that one main tree sticking up. And we hiked out here and there's two other people on this. The ground is hot. I would recommend wearing your shoes. I thought it was going to be sandy, but this is like a lava rock out here. So we got one more little island to go to. So it's going to be interesting walking across these lava rocks here. You see the little lava trail that goes over there. So I feel like you know, I'm on the movie Castaway right here. I shouted for Wilson, but he never came. So he must still be floating off in the ocean. <laughs> wow, what a cool little place. There's a sign here telling you not to climb on the trees here at Kai Kualat. Okay, so that is holding up to its namesake. That's the one tree island over there, Kai Hualat. So let's wade out here to this one tree island. <laughs> There's a few more little lava rocks and stuff out there. Yeah, this is really shallow. It's knee deep to get out here. Okay, so this is the island. Looks like there's a place right here you can pitch your tent. Plenty of shade. I don't know where you'd uh, use the facilities or order food from. Maybe uh, you could order some grab food to bring you something out here. And this is looking back. Comac. And the paper island. How nice is this? Okay, so when you come to this island, you gotta sit like that on the island. Bun's our little model. And I just missed, there was a school of jumping fish that jumped up out of the water about three foot. Oh, that was really cool. So you can see the one little tree. Bun's having the best time here. So we'll take one last little look around the horizon. And we'll cross back over these little islands and causeways, back over to the main island and head back over to Comac. So I wonder how long Bun will survive here on the little island without me. Yep, there she is. All right, she's going to become an island girl in this little island. There's so many coconuts and everything else grow in here. Yeah, this is really cool. So 
So that's going to finish up our video over here at this uh, little day trip from Comac. This was a lot of fun. I actually uh, wasn't that excited about it, but once I got here, this has probably been the highlight of our whole trip here to Comac. The deer were okay, but it was kind of fun going over here and going uh, to that little one tree island that was way behind me. So anyway, if you enjoyed the video, smash the like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. If you've been here, if you have any questions, ask me in a comment down below. If you've been here, tell me what you thought, uh, if you enjoyed it like I did. And uh, subscribe, stick around if you're uh, new to the channel. And from over here in Comac, remember, life is a journey. Until next time, enjoy. Enjoy.